Vijay Prasad of Karnataka, BJP continues with us. I'm joined by Syed Asad Abbas, who's a political analyst based in Karnataka. Hindol Sen Gupta is a historian. Dr. Shami, uh, Shashi Kumar is uh, General Secretary, Associated Managements of Primary and Secondary Schools in Karnataka. Asad, let me come to you first. You know, the concept of karma, for example, the concept of karma is a widely accepted, widely regarded, widely quoted concept. It comes from Hinduism. It comes, in fact, and is espoused in in the Gita. When all of us can talk about karma, what is the problem if students also learn from the fountainhead of this wisdom, which is Gita? It's something very beautiful what you've articulated, Shivaniji. Let me compliment you on that and come straight to the point. Hmm. Let me tell you, there is a there is a beautiful thing in the Bhagavad Gita itself. Hmm. Hello, am I am I one second? Asad, you're audible, but we can't see you. Continue in the meantime. Yes, yes, certainly I shall. Go on. The point that I'd like to derive, Shivaniji, is a very simple one. Mm. Let me tell you, Bhagavad Gita is one of the most beautiful books in the world. Mm. I am testimony to it. Many a times when I'm invited in the educational institutions, I quote from Bhagavad Gita and Lord Krishna. Mm. This is very point. I'm making a very progressive uh, thought here, Shivaniji. I'm mm. sure the viewers will appreciate it. Mm. What did Lord Krishna say? A man, what he thinks, so he becomes. Mm. A man is made by belief. This absolutely has nothing to do with religion. Hmm. The fact we need to understand here. One quote I'd like to address to you, ma'am. When you take decision, take decision from your heart. Do not be confused by others' advice. The voice of your heart is my voice. This is something to be taken to. The fact that certain political parties are alleviating this by saying that this is bringing in Hinduism hmm. or Hindu so on so forth is absolutely false. The fact I take a precedent is a simple one. I went to Christian convent, Shivaniji, mm. and I was taught the prayer. Our mm. Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Why didn't these political parties have a uh, ring with that? No, because those are private there institutions. Is... No, there's a legal argument here, Syed. I, I understand the point that you're making, but there is a legal argument here. Private institutions, especially religious institutions, can teach their religion. We are talking about public schools now. Do you believe there is any problem if Gita lessons were to be introduced or this is mere politicking by the opposite opponents? For those, uh, Shivani Ji, I'll make it very simple. Let me simplify for those who are adhering to this. Hmm. Please read the Bhagavad Gita before you make any judgments, respected sirs, of political parties. We need to take a line of value education, moral okay. education, which we had in our schools. And, and which were taken from Quran, Guru Granth Sahib, Bible and the Holy Bhagavad Gita. Let us have a condemnation of But can of all the sorts. Gita be compared to a Quran or um, the Bible? That's also a fundamental question people are asking. The Gita, Absolutely. is it purely a religious binding book or is it a book about life's teachings? Mr. Uh, uh, Absolutely, Ashwani ji, you've Mr. articulated Prasad. this point yes, sir. very well. Uh, Shivani, this is not to do with the religion, okay. but this is to yeah, give life's wisdom. Would... 10 seconds, sir. 10 seconds. This book is about life skills. This book is about wisdom. Hmm. This book, how you can better in life. That is exactly what I was taught in my formal education in school. Yeah, but I think life it's an unfair skills. comparison to compare the Gita with yeah. the word of Ashimani, God as uh, in Bible and Quran I because those are not should, debatable. Uh, Anyways, yes, Mr. Your Prasad. Uh, 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 thanks for your sermons, uh, uh, Abbas. I would say I, I hold Gita in my hand. Okay. I will have to congratulate uh, our Education Minister, B.C. Nagesh, sir. And I welcome that, yes, the, the government has introduced Gita in the school as part of moral education. The Gita, it says, what it teaches, okay? Way of action, way of knowledge, act, knowledge is the supreme spirit. Nowhere, see, I have quoted only few uh, topics from the book Gita. Hmm. Nowhere it teaches about the religious practice. Yeah. Hindus have Mukkoti Devaru, three crores, three crores of God. It is up to you which God you want to, uh, which God you want to pray, which God uh, it is up to you, right? But as far as the Islam and Christianity is concerned, they start propagating particular, say. Please believe in prophet of please believe in Jesus. We don't say that. But as far as the fact of the matter No, but uh, Mr. Prasad, says, we also cannot deny these are right. the words of Should Lord be. Krishna, right? Yeah. The Gita See, comes yes. from yes. the sermons of Lord Krishna. And frankly, I am not one of those 
who is going to appropriate Hinduism and deny Hinduism its credit. The Gita is very much coming from Hinduism. It cannot be made into some sort of a cultural or a moral but book alone. He, no, as he, was done with Hindu yoga. Not, I'm sorry. The Gita does not teach us. It Gita does not does teach not religious teach worship. Religion. I give you that okay. much. It, but there is it, absolutely it no reason to deny Hinduism the credit for producing a book it like the Gita. Tell you, the Gita will certainly tell you how to improve your quality of life. Yeah, but Gita I don't think the opposition is, is on that. I don't think life. the opposition is on the quality of what Gita teaches. The ah. opposition is primarily this. This is essentially coming quick from a religion. Shivaniji, quick rebuttal. One second. No, two of my guests have not spoken. Hindol, ah. my fundamental question is this. First of all, I am not one of those people who is going to say yoga is not Hindu or Gita is not Hindu. They are very much Hindu. They come from Hinduism. They cannot be appropriated by cancelling out their roots. But my question to you is this, if children don't learn the Gita in India, where are they going to learn from the Gita? The Gita is India's legacy. We cannot just look at it as a religious text. It is Indian heritage. Is that question to me, Shivani? Yeah, Hindol. No Hindol, please. Shivani. Hindol, can you hear me? That question was for you. Well, I have a very simple answer. I just want to, uh, I want people to realize that if you teach the Gita in school, let's look at it from another vantage point, Shivani. What will happen if you teach the Gita in public schools? And this is an important point to make. Hmm. These are government funded schools. These are state funded schools using public money. And if you teach the Gita in these schools, what is going to happen? What is the the fear in some people's mind is, oh, this is the beginning of some transformation and conversion, mm. which is frankly ridiculous nonsense. The Gita ought to be taught as one of the foundational texts of India. Mm. India as a civilization has certain foundational texts. The Upanishads are one set, the two epics are another. And so is the Bhagavad Gita, which mm. is, of course, part of the Mahabharata. Mm. These are part of the cultural, civilizational texts of India. Every Indian must be taught to read these texts. Mm. They don't have to become Hindu to understand these texts. Mm. They should be taught to understand these texts and understand what's in these texts so that they have a deeper understanding of the country mm. in uh, where they live in, the civilization to which they belong, mm. and the culture which is theirs. Yeah. That culture does not mean, appreciating this cultural heritage does not mean everybody has to become Hindu. That is a ridiculous and a stupid argument. Only stupid may people say these things. Yeah. But I you know, believe that the Gita ought to be taught, hmm. including in government schools and you know, public funded schools, because it is part of this civilizational heritage of India. You know, it you would remember, Hindol, that even the 